So you and your partner decide to try for a baby. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you what are the important steps you need to know to increase your chances of conceiving and also prepare your body for a healthy pregnancy. Hello everyone, it's Ketchin Chong here and welcome to our Fertility Nutrition TV. If you are new to our channel, make sure that you subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Now, whether you are preparing your first, second or your fifth baby, preconception health is extremely important to help to increase your success rate of a pregnancy and to get your body ready for the healthiest pregnancy and a healthy baby as possible. So today I'm going to share with you what are some important steps you need to take in preparation for your pregnancy. So step number one, you want to start with a fertility friendly diet. A Harvard research study shows women with ovulatory infertility who follow a fertility friendly eating pattern had a 66% lower risk of ovulatory infertility and a 27% reduced risk of infertility. So here is what the study looking at, mainly promoting at more plant-based food intake from a virus source of vegetables and fruit. You want to have less animal protein food like red meat, chickens in overall and replace with more vegetarian plant-based protein source such as tofu, beans or legumes and nuts. And number three, make sure you start quitting highly refined sugar or carbohydrate food. They are made from white flour, white bread, white rice, pastries, soda, snacks and all the sweets that contain highly added sugar and replace with whole grain food products such as quinoa, raw oats, bark wheat and brown rice. Now my step number two for you today is you need to watch your weight. For women carrying excess weight with a BMI more than 25, weight loss may improve fertility. On the other hand, if you are underweight, meaning that if your BMI is lower than 18.5, you may likely to experience menstrual cycles issue or your ovulation may stop completely. So we definitely want to help to optimize your weight and usually the best time to do so is at least about three months before you're thinking about trying for a baby. Now, while we are chatting about women's health today, I also want to emphasize that men's uh, health as well. If your male partner carrying a sex weight, it is so important that we work together as a team to help them to lose weight as well. Because study has shown that for men, if they are carrying a sex weight, it can also affect their sperm quality and their sperm count. So uh, what I want you to start to do today is first, Firstly, is to start to key in your weight and your height by using an online BMI calculator to work out what exactly is your current BMI. And secondly, if you need to work on losing or gaining weight, it is best to discuss or work with a fertility dietitian like myself to help you to create a personalized nutrition plan that works for you. And lastly, I want you to avoid any form of you know fight fast weight loss plan that promise dramatic result because we don't want to restrict your food intake too much or too quickly, which can also deplete the nutrient and hence affect. Now, my tips number three today, moving on, is you need to take folic acid. So women who are trying to conceive, it's advisable to take a folic acid supplement, which contain at least about 400 micrograms of folic acid from the supplement source at least about one month before you try to have a baby. Now, this is really important that you are taking a folic acid supplement in addition to a diet which is rich in natural source of folate such as dark uh, leafy greens vegetables beans legumes and also liver folic acid what is it exactly to your body is it helps to prevent neural tube defects so the neural tube develops into the brain and spine roughly about three to four weeks after conception and most women don't didn't realize that they are pregnant until at about four weeks of your pregnancy so it is so important that if you are thinking about trying to get pregnant make sure you start to take a folic acid supplement at least one month or three months before your conception 
Now, if you're unsure which supplement to choose from, of course, always consult a fertility dietitian, and we will be able to help you to work out a fertility supplement regime and creating a personalized eating plan tailored to you. Now, my tip number four today is to get a pre-pregnancy checkup. So if you're thinking about getting pregnant, I would strongly recommend to for you to visit your doctor for a preconception consultation. So they will be the best person to advise you on uh, planning your pregnancy tailored to your health needs and advise you on when to stop contraception, organize the necessary preconception blood screening test for you to review medications or any vaccine that you need. And my last tip for you today, which is my tip number five, is you need to take real actions. So you are most likely to get pregnant if you have sex within a day or so before you ovulate. So what is ovulation means is the day when you release the egg from your ovary. So ovulation usually occurs at about day 14. Uh, we count the first day of your period as the day one. So the average cycle uh, will take about 28 days, but some women can have shorter or longer cycle. So what you need to do right now is start to track your period cycle and also work out your ovulation patterns. And secondly, you want to pay more attention to the common signs of ovulation, such as breast tenderness, changes to your cervical mucus, start to think about tracking your basal body temperature or use any ovulation testing kits in the market. Now, the days leading up to ovulations are the most fertile ones in your menstrual cycle. So you will have a greater chance of getting pregnant if you time your sex one to three days before your ovulations or every two days around the fertile window period, which is usually at around day 12 and day 16. There you have it, my five tips for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Now tell me in the comment below, which step are you going to take in the next seven days? Now, are you struggling to conceive, finding hard to lose weight, or you need to gain weight? Or you might be someone who suffer from women's health conditions such as endometriosis, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome that may affect fertility. Now, I have worked with many women with similar issue where I offer my one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching to help you to create a personalized nutrition plan to help you to reach your goals and to subsequently to get pregnant. So if you are interested to our service, make sure you check out my website at katrinchong.com.au slash services and book an initial consultation with me. I will walk you through the evidence-based nutrition recommendations using the whole food approach and you will leave the session with more clarity and confidence on what exactly you need to do. Now, thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you at the same time at the same place. Bye for now.